हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिक्स विथ अली जुबैर होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टूडे आई विल कवर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व सम एग्जाम्पल्स आई विल शेयर सम एग्जाम्पल दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व एंड क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू इंटीग्रेशन सो लेट मी स्टार्ट द टॉपिक लेट सपोज आई हैव टू इंटीग्रेट वन आवर डी एक्स आवर एन ओपन इंटरवल फ्रॉम ओपन इंटरवल दैट आई मीन दैट इट्स नॉट बॉन्ड इट from lower limit to uh, upper limit if it's in closed interval then we should have uh, a lower limit and upper limit so we have to integrate 1 over x uh, 1 over x dx now you must have learned the concept of differentiation whenever i differentiate ln x what i am getting i am getting 1 over x so differentiation and integration differentiation and integration both are opposite of each other from opposite i mean that whenever i differentiate ln x i am getting 1 over x this this value 1 over x so that means if i integrate or when i integrate 1 over x i should get ln x that mean they are opposite again i am repeating whenever i integrate 1 over x i should get ln x and whenever i differentiate ln x i should get 1 over x that's what Uh, differentiation and integration of are opposite to each other so put the value of 1 over x here 1 over x is ln x so i am putting after integrating the value after integrating what i am getting ln x is 1 over x is ln x ln x into so this is what simple ln x integrating 1 over x we will get ln x but at open interval what if i said i am integrating this value from 2 to 10 and yani this is a closed interval now it become a closed interval closed interval mean we are integrating from some value to some value yani lower limit to upper limit that is what closed interval mean from open interval we get ln x from upper interval what we get we will get the same ln x but the difference is that we will again put the value of upper limit and the lower limit that's how we will this is how we will write it okay so put the value of uh, upper limit here replace it with the x and the lower limit replace it with the x what we will get we will get ln 10 i am putting the value of upper limit and replacing it with x plus i am i am putting the value of lower limit here in in replacing x okay so 1 over 10 minus what we will get ln 2 okay upper limit minus lower limit that's what the concept of upper limit minus lower limit this is the concept when we are integrating in a closed interval after integrating we have to put the value of upper limit and we have to put the value of lower limit that's what i have done here so we will get a value for ln 10 in calculator we will get the value of ln 2 in calculator okay so let we are getting something here minus we are getting something here so after getting after putting the value of ln 10 in calculator we will get something after putting the value of ln 2 in calculator we will get something so subtracting the both both will give the exact answer okay let me explain another question to you let me explain some other question to you in a closed interval so i am integrating let's suppose i am integrating x square dx from 2 to 5 this is an closed interval it's easy to solve this in in an open interval because what we will get we will get the value just that's the end but in a closed interval we will we, we have to put the values of upper limit and lower limit this is our lower limit and this is our upper limit and we have to put those 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 values after integrating x square yani uh, uh, upper limit minus lower limit so what is the integration so integrating x square or uh, any variable y square y uh, x cube any x cube y cube 
x, y, any, any value, any variable. So what we will do? We will add plus 1 here in the power of 1. And we will do the same in the denominator. 2 plus 1. So that means what we are doing here, we need to do this in the denominator as well. But we are, we are adding plus 1 in the power of x. So what we are getting 3. We have to divide the value whole by 3. Or you can do this. Or you can divide directly by 3. That's your choice. So what I am getting x keep out plus we are integrating this from 2 to 5. So what I am getting x cube divided by 3 and I am integrating it from 2 to 5. If it's an open interval, I will get this answer. This is the end. If it's a closed interval, then I need to put the value of upper limit this, lower limit this. So what upper limit minus lower limit, that's the concept. x cube to 5 cube. 5 cube divided by 3 minus 2 q cube divided by 3. So 5 q cube is that means 5 q cube means 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. 5 is multiplying itself by 3, 3 times. Okay. So that is 125 divided by 3. And the 2 q cube means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. This is equal to 2 q cube. So 2 is a 4, 4 to the 8. That's 8. Minus 8 divided by 3. So we will take simply, we will take the LCM. The LCM is 3. 125 minus Eight. So 125 minus 8. Yeah, 1, 15 minus 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 7. Okay? 117. So we will get 117 over 3. This is the, our answer after integrating this in a closed interval. So that's it. Thank you so much.